layer one. Start. Today, you and your friend received two strange packages, each contained an old clock. Uh, mine says, received a package from someone called Emily Raven, and your friend got one too. So I have the digital clock. I don't have anything on mine except for... Thursday, 9-30-2021. That's like today. Yeah. Today's date. Yeah. Um, I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. Okay, mine says this clock is part of a game, a gift made for my sister. To have a fighting chance, play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her, Amelie. a broken up newspaper same this says uh something's our village understandably distressed she later corrected her statement said it must have been an hour and a half later if you have seen or heard anything unusual please contact the police okay. mine says another disappearance uh youngest member of the blank clockmaker family was reported missing. Amelie told us she something her at 10:30. And then I have a like an old stopwatch thing that says Amelie 1915 to nothing. Yeah, mine says Lark 1917 to 1937. Hmm. So mine says my paper says 10:30 or says something about a half hour and a half later. Uh, yeah. Okay. So mine has to be midnight, I think. Does yours have to be 1030? I don't know. Mine worked on midnight. Mine is not doing anything on 1030. So okay, try yours on midnight then. Oh yeah, that did something. I don't want to get sucked into a clock. Oh no. <laughs> Lark went missing in 1937, but it all started years before. Uh, this is a copy I made of the world that Lark and I used to know. 1927. That's uh, a long train time ago. station? It's a long time ago. Train station, uh, I see like a grid thingy by a train or bus stop. Yours missing a button? Yeah, the, uh, I'm guessing what would be a right arrow. I don't think there's anything in the bushes. Oh, there's a white bird. White raven. Mm -hmm. So, I have a cottage and I have a jack-in-the-box. I have a, in the cottage for me, there's a light bulb hanging from the ceiling and a choo choo train. Oh, I can turn the light on. And there is a white moth that just made letters appear or words appear. That's odd. Uh, and it looks like the sentences are not complete. Lark, hope, like, present, hit. It three clockwise and a clockwise, then turning clockwise and not go. <laughs> um, wait, are you in the cottage? Yeah. So maybe I can do the jump in the box thing? There's arrows oh. on the wheel of my choo choo train. Oh, turning it makes steam come out, makes the more words come out with it. So now the sentences are complete. Uh, Lark, I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise three times, clockwise twice, anti-clockwise twice, then keep turning it clockwise. Oh, and do not let go. Okay. 
So three anti-clockwise. Yes. Then clockwise twice. Okay. Then anti-clockwise twice. Then keep turning it clockwise. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I was going the opposite direction. <laughs> okay, anti-clockwise would be this way. Yeah. One, two, three. Then clockwise twice. twice. Anti-clockwise. Twice. Okay. And then keep turning it clockwise. Fuck. The stupid jack-in-the-box scared me. <laughs> uh, I have a grid. I have like a, a ticket. It's like half a ticket. Okay. So you're probably gonna find a ticket. Not yours. Be the other half. Is there anything I think else that's in the path cottage? for the train. Oh, probably. Is there anything else in your cottage? Or is it just. The uh, no, it was just the jack and the box. I'm gonna write this down. Okay. Might take it down. The next section over has a well for me. Is the same thing for you? Yeah, I had like a, I had like shapes on it. You can only push the button ones. Oh, I haven't even gone into the well yet. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I have buttons on the top left and top right and the middle bottom. You have the opposite that I do. Okay. Uh, what do you have for the middle top? Um, and a white circle. From the bottom left? A white square. And the last one? In a black circle. It opened it. Well, what do you have on the uh, top left? Uh, you're the opposite. So it's gonna be a black triangle. Okay. And then the last one is a white triangle. Um. Okay. And then the bottom middle is a white square. There's the button that we're missing. Oh, yeah. I guess that's all that's in there. Put the button in the thingy. Yay. Okay. Um, so the path of the, of the train you're probably going to have the other half, so we still can't do anything with that. We could do the beginning right now if you have the beginning of it, or do you have the end? Uh, I, I have the beginning of it, because oh. it starts in the bottom left corner. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and just do the beginning part? Yeah, I got I got it half done. You got to tell me what it is, too. Oh, uh, okay, so you go up to the middle one. Not middle one. Uh, go up to the... Go up twice. One, two. Then go... 
three to the right. One, two, three. And then two down. One, two. Okay. White birdie. Okay. Yeah, I uh, haven't seen the white raven yet. So I don't know. I think it's only on your screen. Or my screen, I mean. Raven's clocks. Well Ravens. Yeah. It says it's only open from 3 to 9, and it's only 1 o'clock. Yeah, well, I, I noticed when I was messing around while I was waiting for you to draw the thingy that I think the clock moves as we go through the scenes. Did you go through the scenes? Well, I was, I was watching it, because you can actually watch it move as you move off of the... Oh, uh, yeah. To move off of the train station. Okay. I'm inside. I'm going inside. Oh, I'm inside now too. I see a radio and a stairs. Uh, oh. I can tune the radio. Oh, and it has words. Uh, what does yours say? Mine says, last month the police started getting several reports of pets going dot dot dot. Missing? Mostly old cats and dogs? Okay. Mine has dots at the beginning, so I think yours is like the first half and mine's the second half. Okay. Let's see if there's more. Let's hope they are all found soon. Uh... The oldest Raven daughter, Amelie, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps... dot dot dot... No beetle. Yeah. Uh, are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. There's a little beetle that scuttled down here. Yeah, I saw that. Uh... The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. Cool. A month ago from whatever today is, which is also when the pets started going missing, it said. Which is creepy. Um, another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's... Sweet old farm dog, remember to lock your doors until the thief has been caught. So, he or she's like stealing animals? Yeah. The member of the Raven family, I'm pretty sure, because they moved. That's not a coincidence. <laughs> they moved there and the animals started going missing. So. Yeah. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless. Or oh, three forty-five. Birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March, and the construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. Oh, cool. That's all I have. Bird feathers. I have, I have one that's almost right at the end. Are you sure you don't have another one? Uh, that one was my last one. Yeah, there. An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the. It's like right at the end of the row, almost. Like not all the way. Oh yeah, I got it. Raven family, let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the white raven that I keep seeing about. There's feathers up here though, like white feathers. You can you can mess with the beetle and he crawls back up the stairs. Yeah. I kept clicking on him oh, earlier. Oh. All of these clocks are stuck at the same time. Like the three forty five ish. Do you have a- I see a- there's a paper on the floor. Do you have a paper rolled up on the floor? No. The upstairs, okay. And I have a paper in a frame. A newspaper. Uh, 
Was there a date inside those um, radio frequencies? Uh, about it said something about them opening their shop on the 18th. I think it said March 18th. Yeah, open their clock shop oh. today, the 18th. Yeah, March, Wednesday, 18th. Ooh, and the other half of the ticket. I can't take it with me. Uh, okay, you might have to write it down then. Or uh, just tell me, I guess, since I have mine written down. Uh, well, it starts, um, I guess one to the right of where yours ends. And then it goes okay. up. One, two, three, up. Okay. And then right, one, two. Okay. Up one. And right one. Okay. So it should end on, uh, the second one on the rightmost column. That makes sense. Dang it, I got these wrong. Okay. One, two. No. I'm gonna take a picture of it with my phone. There we go. And go over to the train station. Back to the. There's a train. I'm so you there. ended yours on the bottom again, right? Like, basically went around. Uh, an upside down U or an N. Yeah. Okay, so go to the right one. I, I got it. I took a picture of it with my phone. Okay. Did a train pull up on yours? Yeah. Okay. And I can click on it. Chapter 2. It was getting harder to find animals for my experiments, but I still knew one I could get access to easily. That's creepy. Mine says, I told Lark I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. You took your sister's raven, didn't you? I was about to say, am I going to take her freaking bird from her? Oh, look, the, the, the path that we took is now closed. 1932. I do another one. I'm a little bit behind you, I think. <laughs> Midnight again. Oh, yeah, I see. That path is no longer uh, proper. Oh, I got a... I have a room that has, like, a bunch of rooms listed, like kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, and dining hall, and they have bells above them. You mean in the cottage? Yeah. Okay. Says I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody, and I'll open the door. So I have to figure out what the melody is okay. to get the door open. Yeah, in the, my cottage, there's a fireplace, a deer head, some logs, and then a door. I open the door. Can you scroll down to go downstairs, or is it just me? Uh, no. I think I have to open the door because it said it was the door to the basement. Oh, okay. Uh, there's some shelves with some pots and jars on them. And a rope. Oh! The rope has words on it. There's a lizard. Oh! Oh, and the lizard made more words appear. Uh, I can't do anything else. Like, there's a post office and I can't do anything. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go back to Ravens. I popped... Uh, I popped open a jug at the, a barrel at the bottom of the basement. 
and all the words got put together. Uh, it says, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. That's probably a hint to whatever it is that you have in your doohickey. For what? Uh, the cottage. A melody? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I have directions. Not really coordinates, but I have a... I mailed something. What are you talking and about? I, I mailed a letter in the post office, and a little note came out that says, Post office number 28. Oh, I haven't even been that far yet. Oh. I couldn't do anything else, so. I got a key to the clock shop, though. Okay. Which I don't know why I would need a key if I can go in there. Yeah, I have a, um, in the post office for me, there's, there's lock boxes. Is there a lockbox 28? Um, yes. They look, they have like these little wheel things, all of them do, that look like compasses. With like the arrows well, and stuff. Yeah, there, there's like coordinate things on mine. It says northwest, then west, southwest, and then east. Okay. Maybe oh, that's yeah, what I put you those, need. I put those four arrows in and it opened up. Uh, Amelie Raven. Uh, turn around. It's from Lark. Ooh, there's a key. It says, here's your key to the clock shop. Clock shop, Amelie. When you're done working, could you help me look for my raven? So, I See, have I have a key to the, to the clock shop, too, but... Like, it's open anyway, so... Go back to the cottage real quick. Oh, for the melody? Yeah. You said you had something that would make the melody? Well, I would assume that this has something to do with yours, so... Okay. Because uh, the words that popped up for me says, I've been working on this iteration for a year now, or one year now in this study. I'd like to keep... I'd like you to keep it safe for me. Look after it really well like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when Thank I've you. gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. So what did you say you had in your room? Uh, that didn't Locations. work. I have kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, and dining hall. Is it just the locations, or you said something about bells too, right? Well, yeah, there's bells. Like, I have to make a melody. Oh. So, like, I'm pretty sure your thing is fine, but I don't know what. Because I thought, like, you said study, and then you said pantry, which I'm guessing is kitchen. Yeah. And then you said dining room. Dinner table. Dining table. Yeah. Yeah. The, each sentence has a number in it too so like uh, it says like one year in the study two kittens in the pantry and five years and be at the dinner table so maybe the numbers are how many times oh yeah that works okay <laughs> I am down in the basement I have a barrel down here as well cool do you have a lizard in a cage? Because I have a lizard in a cage. No, I have some jars. And like, I'm moving them around, but I don't think it does anything. No. There's something in this barrel. What do you think? It's a clock. And it's pointing to a lot of things. Points. 12 o'clock, 12.15, 12 o'clock three times, 
then I think 12.15 again, and then 12.30. I would probably write that down. <laughs> okay. I moved into the Raven's Clock Shop, and uh, if it's closed, you can go in there with the, with, with the key when it's closed. Okay, yeah, I wrote down the time. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else in there, because I'm, like, moving around the jars. And it's not... Mm. I don't think I can do anything with them. Okay. So you said the clock shop, if it's closed, you can go in? Yeah, with the key. For me, there's a clock sitting here, but I don't... I don't know what... What to do with it. It's got some, like, marble-looking things in the top part. The gears... Uh, this uh -huh. striped turny thing, and then something something that you can run around the edge of it that makes an arrow follow it. It's hard to describe. But I can, like, move the marbles around and put them in different orders, it looks like, too. There's also There's the raven, two... and he's being a butthole. <laughs> That's cool. You found a raven, though. Yeah. I have two books in mine. Um... One says horology, new methods of measuring time. It says accuracy through multiple studies, Miss Scar figured that it that dang it figured out that a timepiece would be more precise than using only quartz in the channeling plate. I think this sequence will be more accurate with the additional benefit of storing time. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. Malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger side. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing that's the... Because there's like a picture of something, and I think that's like the... Uh, like the marbles that you're talking about. Yeah. But they have to go in there a certain order. So tiger's eye have to be left of the court. Ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Malachite cannot be on the far sides or next to the ruby, so I'm guessing... Okay. Sounds like tiger's eye, malachite, quartz, and then ruby. Quartz and then ruby. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, this says the highest like precision. Nudging this clock, making it rock around. Uh, he's hungry. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the next page. <sighs> The next page says, for the highest precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. But then it says, point it instead towards the malachite. Okay. Stores time better. Okay, I'm guessing that's so, do you know what gems are what? Because I have a book that has like a list yeah, of the gems. Yeah, I know which ones are which. Because tiger's eye is kind of brown and stripey. Malachite's green. Quartz is white and ruby's red. So, Okay. I know that because my brother... <laughs> okay, so point the needle towards the malachite. Okay, stop. I want to smack the bird. <laughs> Don't be rude. Like, nudge the bird or something. Uh, and then it says, when everything is set for optimal accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Oh, that worked. 
It says, once the lid has closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to 12, and then it'll initiate an extraction process or whatever. Oh. Yeah, it's got that smoke. Oh, the bird got sucked into the clock. That's probably how he... Uh. Oh, he could now. You did say you wanted to smack the bird because it was annoying you. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's doing a pattern thing. Uh, hang on. Reset. Twelve fifteen. Twelve fifteen. Twelve fifteen. Twelve thirty. Twelve fifteen. Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Twelve fifteen, and then it resets. Uh, three, one, two, one. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> maybe it's not times, but maybe it's pointing in directions. Because we've gone to all of the places and we haven't figured out the track of the train. So I bet yeah. you anything, it's supposed to be the direction of the train. Like it's supposed to go. Possibly. And anything I think... I haven't you done is gone into the Raven's Clock when it's actually open. Oh, well, you can go in there. Yeah. You might find something in there. Yeah. Uh. There's some tools. There's a note. Do not remove these tools. I will work when the shop is closed. Uh oh. I can't interact. I think that was just. I think that was just telling you that you can go inside after it's closed. Sounds like it. All right then. <laughs> yeah, cuz I can't interact with anything else in there, so. Okay, so if that's it then then this is probably What numbers probably is the... did your that your clock pattern do? Uh okay, so it was at 12 and then 12:15. So up right and then up 3 times cuz it pointed to 12 o'clock. Then right and then down. Okay. I don't know if I should do mine. Like, because I'm guessing it needs both of ours. I would assume yours is first, because yours was the first one we got, and it would have been the easier one to get immediately. If that makes sense. Okay, what is yours? Um, three is right, so right three times. Down one, right one, down two, and then right again. The that was it. The, yeah, bottom corner. Cool beats. Yay! Another train ride? Chapter three. It was easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now I had to learn how to do the same with people. Mine says, I know Lark wouldn't want to harm people who went into the clock, so I decided to give them a way out. Mm. 1937. Ooh. Large building with light bulbs. Closed track sign again. And a gate. Oh, you can touch the light bulbs and it like lights up the gate thing. Oh. Do we have to get them all lit to open the gate? Unless there's a pattern we have to do. Probably. To the right, the cottage is back there. One more light bulbs. I'm gonna light them all and see what happens. So am I. Uh, and then the post office again. I'm not going into any of the buildings just yet. And Raven's clocks. Um, no, that didn't work. So you do have to do them in a specific pattern. That made something ding on mine, though. Yeah. Very loudly. Alright. The phone. I'm gonna go into the cottage. Again. I see a there's phone. A yeah, there's a phone in mine, too. Uh, the number. has... Sorry, go ahead. Mine has five through eight, and then a plus, and a... Oh! Uh... I push buttons, and... It... Says words. 
Mine has one, two, three, star, four, pound sign, and zero. Uh, one was pouring down and made me scared. Push two, it says, hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally. Three says, earlier, but you never mind, are you still? Oh! You have to put the I think, order, I guess. I think that mine, um, I think that mine are the next sentences to yours. Maybe. Some of mine aren't the beginning of sentences, they're the middle of it. Yeah, because you said, are you, and then mine says, there, you know, your raven that went missing. So what what was the first sentence that you popped out? Uh, the first one says was pouring down and made me scared. Okay. Um. It so like, mine's gonna be. Looks like the middle of a sentence because it's not capital at the beginning and there's no period at the end. Mm. Pressing the phone, uh, the like the picker upper thingy. Yeah, it resets, it resets it. I don't know what mine could go to your first one. Um. And I, I'm pretty sure all of mine. Like, none of mine is, are the start of a sentence. Yeah, I don't have a start to any of my sentences, but I do have middles and ends. Well, I know that mine at least starts with two. I'm gonna have to write this down to keep track of it. Mine says, hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally... You finally... Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. That sounds Probably. accurate. Yeah. So seven first. Uh, I've been leaving... Uh, let me see what some of these... Oh, uh, leaving... You so many messages. Wait, I know you're still. That's the star for me. Still there. You know your raven that went missing. The one. Uh, I'm writing mine in. Yeah. The one. Oh, uh, zero for me. The You named Cole. I made a new one for you comma maybe okay, that um, makes a little bit of sense I guess wait repeat the ending of that uh, I made a new one for you there's a comma there so not like the end of a sentence but uh, it's upstairs and it's even better this one cannot die that's number eight okay That's the end of a sentence, though, right? Yeah. Um. This one cannot die. Okay, I'm gonna leave that as my last one. So, if there's any symbols that you're still missing, just pull them all up. Yeah. Because I have... I don't have that one. I'm only missing two. Yeah. I mean that I guess that almost makes sense though because there's we're not going to be able to put in every single number anyways, right? And I think right now we have 10 numbers. Wait, do we have to put the numbers in? I would assume so. In the right order, maybe. Okay. So you have two, then I'll put seven. You have star, I'll put five. You have four. 
Oh, yeah, I put, you should have seven, five, nine, squiggly, eight, and then you hit the uh, phone thingy and it rings and the ladder fell down. Oh, okay. And I can scroll up now. It's a freaking mechanical bird. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You have the same thing then. Yeah. So oh. there's like symbols and stuff. Yeah, I can I can click on them. It's showing like how it was put together. Oh. Um, oh, what's on mine? I have a I have a mechanical bird in a cage. Oh. And. Yeah. It's showing me like it's like a lock thing, mm. but I have like three letters that I have to figure out what it what it's saying. Yeah, no, I have uh, pictures on the wall like showing the parts and how to put them together to build the bird. There's nothing like super yeah, special fun. about them. It has like directions for gears measurements for parts and then like the middle one looks like a clock face and it has the mechanical bird head and what looks like a telegram uh button thingy and then like clock numbers around the edge but that's all i got i'm gonna have to figure out what these three letters are what letters are they well, I mean, the first one is like this weird AE symbol, and then it's an O with a letter, or with a line through it, and then it's an A with a little uh, O at the top, and then other than that, it's just the whole alphabet. Does the AE symbol look the same as the, the way that the AE looks in Lark's name? Yes. Okay. I think so, I mean... The A and E are connected, but yeah. they're like capital letters. Right. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's go check out the post office, I guess. Oh, God, what the hell is this? Oh, t a telegraph thing. That is not what I have. I have three wheels, and each wheel has four arrows on them. Um, I'm guessing... Okay, so my thing, I have a telegraph thing hooked up to a speaker, hooked up to a light bulb. I'm guessing if I get the right... um, Not telegraph. I mean, I think you could use it as a telegraph. But it, it, it taps in Morse code over, like, radio frequencies. It's, like, a really old thing um and you have to put in the proper morse code i'm guessing that makes the light bulb light up what the hell is this what what do your elf i see <laughs> well i went into the the rave the clock shop thing and there's like, it's dark, but if I go downstairs, there's this weird machine with a bunch of symbols. I, I, I don't even know. Oh. Yeah, I'm in a dark, dark shop too. There's a land. Like, I don't know what any of these symbols are. Uh, is it like a three by three square and they're all circles and they're like, yes. it looks like a microwave? With like an on off switch. Yeah. That's a little freaky. Do you have symbols on yours? Yeah. I can push all of them as well. Like I have a I tried to push them but it just like made an X and then I have a gear, a ladder, a little girl, a snake, a keyhole in the middle, a raven, a hourglass a moth and a wolf head. I don't know if if I have no freaking idea.
Very rusty. Oh! I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I... I need you for something, because I can't do anything on mine. I pushed the on button, all the symbols yes. rearranged, and the raven popped up on the screen, and it didn't do anything. Oh, you have to push the button oh. for it. That's what I couldn't figure out. Okay. Okay. Oh, so maybe I have to push the but the raven button on my end. Maybe. Yes. You have to push the stake. There, I'll just start over too. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, ready. Go. Go. Raven. Snake. Number six. That didn't work for me. Okay. And that would have been the middle... The middle one on the... Right. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't work for me. Because whenever you have a number pop up, can you push that button? Yeah. It, it, and it, then what happens after that? It gives me the three dots that gets waiting for you. But I don't know if, like, if we need to have, like, the same arrangement of symbols or not, because your symbols are probably in a different place than mine. Unless I well, just yeah. need to tell you which symbol it is. Well, yeah, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Yeah. Okay, so... So as soon as, like, whenever it tells you what to push, like, because you told me it's six, and then when I push six, I had an X. Okay. So you probably are supposed to find the button, because it let you push the button. Right. And then just tell me which one it was, I guess. Okay. Okay, hang on. Oh. I fucking started mine like a dipshit. Okay. You can turn it off again if you click the little button. Oh, mine says five. What? I actually had it right. It was, it was raven, then snake, then butterfly, because oh. I don't know how I figured this out, then keyhole. <laughs> Yeah. Raven, snake, butterfly, keyhole, hourglass. I think it's because every every single time that the number switched, it's always the butterfly the first time. So I think that that's what it is. Hourglass. Yeah. So raven, snake. Then gear. Okay. I don't even know how because it said five and then it had like a down raven, diagonal snake. thing. Butterfly, keyhole. Uh. Oh. I only need three more left. The, wrong thing. Hang on. the wolf, the doll, or the ladder next. Uh, I can figure that out. Raven, snake, butterfly, keyhole, hourglass, uh, gear, gear, the railway, ladder, the gear. Um, okay. Ladder, then, uh, wolf. Okay. I have and to then this the down. doll, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm writing it down. <laughs> Ready? And go. Escape. Uh, shit. Keyhole, maybe? Yes. Yeah, keyhole. Okay, and it has marks on south and southeast. On, uh, uh, there's a, there's a compass there. Wait, you have yours on south and southeast? Yes, there's red, red X's. That is not what mine says. What are yours marked on? Well, mine's weird. What do you mean? Well, I have two X's on mine, but, like, it's not... Like, there's, like, an inner circle? Oh my god, I can't with this shit. Oh, son of a bitch. I fucked up. I gotta do it again. What the fuck? 
Apparently, if you turn it off. Oh, there's a uh, the lights on upstairs. I wrote it down, but it was really weird because it had it had an inner circle and an outer circle, and they were both northeast, but one was on the inner circle and one was on the outer circle. Like the two red X's. But they were both pointing northeast. Yeah. So maybe that'll help me figure out the uh, the compass thing and the... I, I don't even know if I need it. Maybe. But... So the light is on upstairs and there's a radio. Oh. And I think that yours completes my sentences, maybe? Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. So, three patients from the nursing home in Hilbick have vanished in the middle of the night. The talented Emily Raven has returned home from Switzerland. She is determined to reopen and bring back glory to Raven's clocks. The police are looking for anyone who is in the vicinity of the nursing home yesterday evening. They are asking for assistance finding the missing patients. The post office's water damage is repaired, and all post boxes are ready. To be used again, there is already a letter in post box 34. The tragic nursing home incident has reopened all wounds in our village. We hope these disappearances won't remain unsolved like those five years ago. We have no news when train service will return to our village again. The station is now permanently closed. Clarissa's scar. The generous benefactor of our new clock tower died last month. At the opening ceremony next week, we will honor her memory. So it sounds like Emily is now gone from animals to people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that thing said uh, 34, right? Yeah, post box 34. I'm gonna go back to the post office and I'm gonna see if maybe those the X's that were on both of ours There's 34 So I have two arrows on that and what were your X's south on? and southeast Yeah, that worked. Yay. Okay. The letter says, It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention. Now we, we will have the longest lives ever, longer than you could imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. What? I didn't say anything. Oh no, I'm trying to figure out what the hell this meant. Is there dots and dashes anywhere on that? No. Okay. I was just wondering because at my my version of the post office, there's the Morse code tappy thing. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it says the words long and short a lot. Oh, yeah, probably. Because it says, uh, gone for such a long time. For all the time I was away, it felt short. Too short. Uh, now we will have the longest lives ever, longer than you could imagine. So I basically wrote that in Morse code. It's basically dash, dot, dot, dash, dash. Okay. Do you have a Morse code thing? Yeah. Hang on. Ah! I need to reset it. So I don't think dash. I think there's anything I can Don't do much. here yet. Still have to figure out the code to get the bird out. I guess is what I'm doing here. And then the okay. light bulbs. That that worked. <laughs> cool. Uh, it opened something on the speaker, and it's making the light flash off and on. Where at? 
Well, in, in the post office. Like, the, the Morse code was connected to a speaker, which was connected to a light bulb. Okay. It opened up like a little thing in it, but... I can't... Like, there's nothing I can do with any of it. It's almost like the light is flashing at me in Morse code, and I'm not sure what I need to do with that. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be the lights that are outside the... Maybe. It's just hard to know what it means. And I can't see what you're looking at, so... I'm just gonna double check what I just wrote down. And then... Okay, so it looks like dot dash dot dot. Okay, I don't know how to translate that into words, but, you know. <laughs> I used to know certain letters in Morse code. What does your thing say? Like, what did you write down? Uh, so like, um, it's dot, dash, dot, dot, and then like a, a space. Uh, dot dash, then a space, and then dash dash space, dot dash dash dot. I don't think it could be the Well then, I don't know. <laughs> I thought I thought maybe I was onto something if the bulbs had looked different, but yeah. Okay, so we have to figure that out. And I have to figure out what this stupid code is for the bird cage. Yeah. Does the bird do anything when you, like, touch him? No. Because, like, in, in my section of the cottage where it's showing all the parts, the little clocky-looking thing looks almost like the symbol that's on the gate at the front of the other thing. Ha it, but the, it's split in half, so half of it's showing the Morse code thing, which I'm guessing that does have something to do with those lights. Um, yeah, I would think so. And then the other half of it is showing the mechanical bird head, so I'm guessing that has something to do on your end. Like, nothing opens, lights up, makes sounds, anything like that. Uh, well, like he's inside of a cage, and I can't do anything with it. Mm. There's a three-letter combination lock on the cage. 
Um. Oh, 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 uh, put, put in K-O-L, Cole, that was the bird's name. Oh, see, I put in C-O-L. Dang it. <laughs> so I had the right thing, I just didn't know how it was spelled. Because right. I never saw it on my screen. Right, right. When he moving. Okay. Okay, if I click him twice. If I click him... Oh, wait, hang on. Gotcha, you're doing Morse code. Mm. Okay, he's doing Morse code. Shit. Let me write this down. <laughs> okay. It's raining pretty good out there. Okay, so do you have anything on your screen about, like, him lighting up or anything like that? Um. That's all he does, is he'll, he'll, sometimes, I wrote it down, like, in Morse code, but, like, he, he'll caw, and sometimes his light, his eyes will light up, and then sometimes he'll just caw. Okay. But I put it in Morse code, it's like dash dot dash dot 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 dash dash dot 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 dash uh, so dash dot dash dot 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 what is the other ones dash dash dash, dash. dot 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 dash okay so, uh, the Morse code thing for me was on the left side of this little picture, and the bird's head is on the right side. I, I'm not quite sure what where we would start at. Probably at midnight. So your sequence, I think, would come first, and then mine. So I can't do that, right? That's only on your screen? Well, uh, no, because I, I think this is the um, the light bulbs outside. Well, I mean, like, yeah, your sequence would come first and then mine, but we can both put it in, I think. It's just oh. it's the light bulbs out. Okay, where are we starting? Uh, You said midnight? Yeah, I don't know if you actually have to start, like, at midnight the time. I, would just, I was just trying to figure that out because of... So I'm guessing when he actually has his light, like, when he flashes his lights on... Those are the light bulbs that need to be on, right? That would be my guess. Or... Whichever ones... I would think that whichever ones are the dashes are the bulbs that need to be on. That's what makes sense to me. Anyways. Okay, cool. The gate opened. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wasn't thinking, like, I was thinking, oh, we're starting here, and that one's gonna be the, and then I, yeah, I'm done. It's fine. <laughs> I'm in the building now. My last memory of Lark was a suspicious frown on her face. Uh, I pulled the ladder down, and it says, all those years in Switzerland made it possible for me to finally finish the clockwork. You can go up to the next floor, and there's another ladder. At first, she didn't want the clock. She says she was tired of my presence. Uh, I double-checked Lark's clock. It ran exactly as it should. Held it out to her anyways, because I needed her to be with me. 
Oh. It didn't occur to me that a crack in the clock face would make a difference. That's the third one for me. The next one up there's jars with numbers on. Is that Do you have the same numbers I do? Uh from from left to right I have 1011 1308 1111 and 180. Yeah, we have the same numbers. Okay. Are your jars all empty too? Mine have lights in them. They have blue lights. I bet you anything it was freaking souls. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing in mine. They're empty. Pull that I never down. Sorry. I never told her that the time was stolen, only that the clock would let us be together forever. I had spent years Orders. collecting time for us, time that would be added to our lives. Oh, there's more on the next floor. Yeah. Also empty. She she closed her hand around the clock, and I never saw her again. Uh, instead, she disappeared into the clock. I still haven't found her. Oh my uh, gosh, that's a lot of jars! Oh! I... There's a little blue soul inside a 95 jar on the... 95? Counter. Yeah. Mine says 94. Beat the game, such a shame to see all that time go to waste. I didn't have to build a way out. I hope you and your friend appreciate it. Uh, oh! <laughs> you have lost 94 minutes of your life. Uh. Clark would have added 94 minutes to hers. Emily added 95 minutes to hers. That's a cool game. That's, that's interesting. Very, that's a very interesting mechanic to this game. Yeah. And I like that you don't have to like be online with somebody. You can literally just select Yeah. Like which player you want to be. You don't have to like add them to the game. Yeah. So like yeah, we, we each got mailed these little clocks and that's what happened at the beginning is we got sucked into it. And it actually created she she that's what she was talking about. I created a way out of the clock. But that's funny. And I guess that's how long it took us to play it was like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. That's funny.